This is the story magical being that could travel faster than lightning. Today we will be exploring the miraculous journey of the Prophet Muhammad on the back of Burak, a celestial creature created by Allah Almighty. It was a unique and beautiful ride to paradise that Allah Almighty had created for the most extraordinary and beloved person in the universe. Its name is Burak. The name Burak is derived from the Arabic word bark, which means lightning or flash of light, which indicates its swiftness and agility. Burak could travel so fast that even lightning could not match it. This particular ride was used to take the Prophet Muhammad on a journey known as the Isra or Mirage. The Mirage is one of the most remarkable incidents in the life of Prophet Muhammad and is mentioned in the Quran. Isra refers to the miraculous night journey of the Prophet from Makkah to Jerusalem, and Mirage refers to his ascension to the heavens. The Isra and Mirage have deep spiritual significance for Muslims. The journey represents the Prophet's spiritual ascension and his closeness to Allah. It also teaches the importance of prayer and the strong connection between physical and spiritual worship. The Burak, as a celestial creature, played a significant role in this journey and is revered by Muslims as a symbol of the miraculous nature of the journey. The story occurred after 11 years of Nabuwat, two years before the Hijrat, on Monday the 27th of Rajab, on the Night of Light. After performing the Isha prayer, the Prophet was resting at the house of his beloved cousin, Umehani. This was that fortunate and blessed night on which Allah Almighty intended to meet his beloved Prophet, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa. On the night when all the heavens were adorned, Allah Almighty commanded Hazrat Jibrail to go to paradise and bring a Burak, a mystical creature, from there and bring the Holy Prophet with him. When Angel Jibrail entered paradise, he saw 40,000 beautiful, unique Burak, each heavier than the other. Then Angel Jibrail saw one different Burak crying intensely, so he asked, O Burak, why are you crying? The Burak replied that ever since he heard the name of Allah's beloved Prophet Muhammad, I have been weeping in his love and did not know when he would get to meet him. When Angel Jibrail saw this Burak's excitement to meet the Prophet Muhammad, he left paradise to take him to the Prophet. On the night of the Isra, the Prophet Muhammad was sleeping when suddenly the room roof was opened and Hazrat Gabriel descended. Hazrat Jibrail took Prophet Muhammad from the house of Hazrat Umm Mehani to Masjid al-Haram and then to Hatim Kaaba, which is the semicircular space adjacent to the Kaaba. At that time, Prophet Muhammad was in a state of deep sleep, and Hazrat Jibrail came to him, pierced his chest, and took out his heart. Then he brought a golden tray filled with faith and wisdom and placed it in Prophet Muhammad's chest. Hazrat Jibrail then got a golden basin filled with water from the well of Zamzam, and washed the heart of the Prophet Muhammad with it. After that, he returned the heart to its place and left Prophet Muhammad in peace and tranquility. Then, a remarkable creature was presented before the Prophet Muhammad, which was brought from paradise and only for him. The Barak played a crucial role in the journey. It carried the Prophet at an incredible speed. It was a small creature with a big neck and a beautiful color. Each of its strides covered a distance as far as the eye could see. It had wings and was adorned with precious stones and pearls. The Prophet Muhammad rode on it, and it was so fast that wherever he looked, it kept up with him. When the creature climbed a height, its hands became longer, and when it went down, they became shorter, making it easy to ride. Those who rode it did not face any difficulties. According to the Hadith, Burak was a white animal, smaller than a mule but larger than a donkey, with wings on its sides. It is said to have a woman's face and a peacock's tail. The Prophet Muhammad intended to mount his ride during this time, and he approached the Barak. As soon as Prophet Muhammad came near the Barak, he expressed his happiness and started jumping in excitement. Seeing this, the Hazrat Gabriel put his hand around his neck and wings and said, O oh Barak, no one has been honored and respected more than the Prophet Muhammad by Allah, the Lord of Majesty and Splendor. You should be proud to carry him. Hearing this, Barak became embarrassed, and then he calmed down. The Prophet then mounted Barak and traveled towards Jerusalem. During the journey, the Hazrat Gabriel, the commander of the angels, was with him. The journey from Mecca to Jerusalem took only a few hours. As soon the Prophet arrived in Jerusalem, he tethered the Barak at the same place where previous Prophets had tethered their mounts. In Jerusalem, the Prophet led the other Prophets in prayer and then ascended to the heavens. On the way, he passed through the seven heavens and met several prophets, including Adam, Abraham, Moses, and Isa, 
peace be upon them all. He also saw the Garden of Paradise and the Hellfire. Eventually, he reached the highest point, the Sidrat al-Muntaha, beyond which only Allah could be found. There, he received the revelation of the last verses of Surah al-Baqarah, which included the declaration of faith and other revelations that formed the basis of Islamic practices and beliefs. The most significant part of the Prophet's journey was when he received the five daily prayers. Initially, Allah had prescribed 50 daily prayers, but Prophet Moses advised the Prophet to ask Allah to reduce the number, as it would be difficult for his followers to perform them all. After several requests, Allah ultimately reduced the number to five, with the reward of each prayer being multiplied by ten. Another critical aspect of the journey was the Prophet's encounter with Allah. This encounter is known as the Munajat, or the intimate conversation during which Allah conveyed many messages to the Prophet including the importance of prayer, patience, and gratitude. The Prophet also saw Allah's creation's beauty and majesty, further strengthening his faith and conviction in Islam. The story of the night journey is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al-Isra, where Allah says, Exalted is he who took his servant by night from Al-Masjid Al-Haram to Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, whose surroundings we have blessed to show him of our signs. Indeed, he is the hearing, the seeing. 17 verse 1. Upon returning to Mecca, the Prophet faced much skepticism and ridicule from those who found it difficult to believe in his miraculous journey. The first person to believe in the Prophet Muhammad's claim of going to Al-Isra and Al-Miraj, the night journey and ascension to the heavens, was Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, one of the closest companions of the Prophet and the first Caliph of Islam. His firm belief in the Prophet's statements earned him the title of Siddiq, which means the truthful. The Prophet was firm in his faith and continued to preach the message of Islam. The night journey and ascension served as a turning point, helping him to endure the challenges he faced while preaching Islam in Mecca. The Isra and Miraj were significant events in Islamic history as they demonstrated the power and authority of Allah and provided the Prophet with important revelations and guidance for the Islamic community. The story of Burak and his gratitude earning him Prophet's night journey is an important event in Islamic history and carries a lesson for all Muslims worldwide. Remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of our new uploads and feel free to leave your comments and feedback in the comment section below. These video links popping on the screen will take you on a surreal journey of exploring the replenishing Islamic culture. So, make sure you check these out.